All right, guys, buckle up and sit tight because we have a ton of Grand Theft Auto 6 information to talk about today. I'm probably going to have to split this up into two videos, but what's going on, everyone? My name is Ross or Mr. Boss for the win. And like I said, a ton of GTA 6 info and news has come out over the 4th of July holiday weekend. Hopefully you guys had a nice time celebrating, had some time off with friends, family and more. Today, we're just going to jump straight into it. And this first part is coming from Insider and Leaker tom henderson we have covered his information and his insider details here on the channel in the past i'm not going to go over the specifics of the things that he has covered but he has told us about the release date 2024 to 2025 modern setting vice city there's going to be a female protagonist and he says he has sources that can confirm this information is true well the other day he put out an interesting tweet on his page he said this on Sunday, July 4th at 9 p.m. BST, I'll be breaking out the pencil for something special on my YouTube channel. You're not going to want to miss this. And in case you guys missed it, I will leave a link to that in the description as well. It's a video titled Drawing Grand Theft Auto 6 and in parentheses GTA 6. And it's almost 50 minutes long. And again, I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. But this is ultimately what the drawing looks like by the time everything is all said and done. So let's take a look at this drawing right here because there's a lot to focus on. We'll sort of go from left to right. You can see in the top left hand corner you have the Grand Theft Auto 6 logo. And I don't know if this is an official logo or if this is something that Tom just saw online and said that looks like the best representation of the GTA 6 logo because... It's basically just the VI from Vice City uh, attached to the Grand Theft Auto logo itself. So who knows if that's the style that Rockstar will actually use. You guys can then see some palm trees, which might indicate our location. The main body of the drawing here has a female character who looks to be holding an AK-47 and is standing in front of a supercar. And just based off of the look of the supercar, it looks like that's a McLaren P1 which we actually have in GTA 5. We have that as the Progen T20 and sort of the Progen Itali GTB. So Rockstar is no stranger to adding McLaren vehicles into the game. And then you can kind of see some jets in the air, fighter jets that seem to be launching some missiles. We also have that in GTA 5 with the likes of the Hydra, etc. And then you've got this big tower in the background with a blue light coming from it. This is the only thing that has color in this picture, uh, except for the GTA 6 logo. And for those of you guys that are wondering what that building is, that's actually the Vice City Tower. And the Vice City Tower is basically just the tallest building in Vice City. It's a skyscraper, and it has this blue spotlight on the roof that shines in the night. And it's likely based off of the Miami Tower, which is a skyscraper in downtown Miami. Long story short, it's just one of the most iconic buildings in Vice City with like the glowing blue spotlight from the top. So it's an easy way to say this is in Vice City, which is exactly what I think we're ultimately looking at right there. You've got more buildings, but you've got this dude in a jetpack right here. And some people have pointed out, and I've sort of noticed this as well, that the guy in the jetpack who seems to be fair skinned and have dark black hair, Looks like the CEO and chairman of Take-Two Interactive, Rockstar Games' parent company, Strauss Zelnick. You guys can see, like, the similarities here. So, is Zelnick the jetpack dude? Did Tom Henderson do this on purpose? Either way, I think that would be a pretty funny Easter egg. So, those are the sort of things that I was able to find out from this drawing right here. And it sort of just backs up everything we know so far about Tom Henderson's leaks, that it's going to be modern times in Vice City. There's going to be a female main character, uh, etc. And so now you guys might be wondering, well, what was Tom Henderson drawing? Was he drawing what he's seen so far? And this is where we need to sort of break things down. So because on Twitter, he said, I love drawing concepts of concepts, which was an interesting tweet. With someone saying, oh, F, never mind, hyped for a good 15 minutes until you tweeted this. But a follow-up to that said, see my Battlefield 2042 concept drawing, winky face. And in case you guys missed this, Tom Henderson actually drew a scene that was in the new Battlefield 2042 trailer. So this is his drawing right here. 
And you guys can kind of see that it looks like a, a, a missile silo or a rocket launching. There's a tornado. There's a lock-on thing that's happening. You can also see sort of the HUD in the bottom left and right. So he said he drew this saying that this was going to be a scene in the trailer. And sure enough, when the Battlefield 2042 trailer came out, look at this exact scene that you guys can see right there. You guys can see the rocket launching, a tornado locking onto a jet, the exact same HUD in the bottom left and right hand corner. So ding, ding, ding. It was the real deal. So what Tom Henderson is saying here is he's, if you can see my air quotes, drawing a concept, but this is really what he is seeing. So if this is what he's seeing, that means that, yes, we are looking at a Vice City setting. It is going to be modern, and it's going to feature a female main character. Now, you could get into the nitty-gritty details here of what kind of jet that is or what kind of car, and that there's going to be an AK-47 in the game. But all of that sounds fairly obvious. And I guess same with the jetpack as well. All of these things were probably just drawn as an indication that the game is going to be taking in modern times and it's going to be taking place in Vice City. So all of that, again, very, very interesting. Now, aside from that information on the drawing, we also heard from Tom Henderson going back on his announcement that the game was going to be coming out in 2024 or 2025. So someone ended up saying this, and this is where we get into a little bit of drama. Icecoin said, yep, I still believe it's coming out in late 2023, mid-2024. I don't believe the 2025 prediction by Tom Henderson. And Tom said, I'd openly bet anyone that claims to have insider information $1,000 that it will release in 2024 through 2025. With the last comment saying, even Yan said it's a baseless rumor. And here's where things get interesting because Yan ended up responding. Well, first Tom said then he will hopefully take me up on the $1,000 bet, smiley face. With him saying, even if we assume your information is correct, and you should know by now that release dates, even if it's just a year, are the most dangerous thing to be confident about, especially with Rockstar. I don't claim to know when it will or won't release. And he said 100%, but I am unbelievably confident that it won't release before 2024. Wow. So he is doubling down saying that it is not going to be coming out before the year 2024, which I know is going to be disappointing news to a lot of people, but it does make sense. I mean, think about it. There's almost no chance that it gets announced this year because we still have expanded and enhanced GTA 5. So if the announcement comes in 2022, 2024 to 2025 is looking very, very likely. So I'm inclined to believe this. And this generated a response from Yan on the GTA forum site. Someone said, battle the leakers, Yan versus Tom versus Jason. We'll get to that Jason part in a little bit. And he said, there's no battle for me, at least. I'm at the point where I couldn't care less about speculation. I don't know when GTA 6 will release, and I do not care. The game will come when it's ready. It will be announced when Rockstar decide to announce it, and that's all. In the meantime, there's no point in losing our mind and making wild guesses. I understand the appeal of speculating, but it's not for me. Not anymore. I'm slowly turning into a grumpy cat. I'm not saying Tom is wrong nor right. I just don't like how confident and borderline cocky he is. So there you go. That's sort of the battle, the leakers right there. And again, we will get into that second part involving Jason a little bit later on in the day. And this, I think to me, just is more proof that Tom Henderson might be onto something here. I'm definitely inclined to believe him. And the last real bit of follow-up was this with how you trust someone like him. Someone said, you confirmed your source could not be reliable at all. How could we trust any of your GTA information? People do the stuff you say about GTA 6 every year. It's nothing interesting. He said, 100%, you're right. The reality of leaks is that this information has been released before the developers are ready to release it. Therefore, things can change. I also say take with salt for any leak because the information may not be final. Treat leaks as rumors and not confirmation. That's a very good point. With his last thing saying, people are assuming I'm now on the GTA 6 leak bandwagon and I'll upload crap for the next three or four years, but no, I've reported on what I've heard and that's probably it now until at least next year. Because I can't say anything releasing before then, it's been fun though, winky face. So there you go. It looks like we are going to get more follow-up from Tom Henderson on GTA 6, but it might not be for a minute because that is everything that he has heard so far. And as always, take his leaks with a grain of salt because they are not a confirmation because they're not coming from Rockstar. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't be cautiously optimistic when it comes to this sort of stuff. So, whew, I know that was a lot. That's the first bit of GTA 6 information that I'm going to be talking about today. But that is a lot of information, including confirming 
things we've seen so far with a reputable drawing and more follow-up on social media. But anyways, I would love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What do you think of these leaks? Do you think they're real, fake, reputable, somewhere in between? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.